Peace be to all. Omar here. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about eating for your training regimen, whatever you ha happen to be doing. Um, if you're doing power lifting or martial arts or whatever. So I'm a I'm an endurance runner. I'm not that fast, <laughs> but um, I'm still trudging along after 30 years of distance running. So I have followed many other people's diets. They're like, oh no, you have to eat this. You have to eat that. No, don't eat that. Eat like this. And you know, I finally found what works for me personally. And I think that's important, especially in this day and age of uh, mass marketing through social media. So many guys, you know, some are true scientists, others are just gym bros trying to push their products. They got powdered drinks, bars, protein bars, nutrition bars, you know, whatever. And that's the thing that's supposed to either make you huge or make you fast or make you lean, depending on what you're trying to do. You know, I used to buy all that stuff, man. Um, I do buy uh, 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 pea protein or soy protein. Maybe it makes me a soy boy. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I had to find what works for me. And after, after, uh, after more than 30 years of trying this different stuff, I found the diet that works for me best is what I think people call a, uh, a pescatarian diet. So mostly, if I get my meat, protein is from fish. Um, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. I, um, I'm not crazy about chicken, beef, and, and goat, like red meat kind of sits in my stomach. It doesn't move, I want it out of me. I'm like, ugh, yuck, it's just sitting <laughs> Um, I, uh, I just, I don't like the feeling and it just, it seems to make me feel bloated and not more, you know, more than it does actually sated from hunger. So, mostly fish. Um, I seem to have a lactose intolerance, so I can't really drink, I can't drink milk, um, or eat yogurt. Or cheese kind of you know, makes me gassy, which is kind of gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want that. So I found that the soy products and the um, the uh, pea protein and almond milk. So I do an almond milk smoothie with uh, uh, pea or soy protein. It's called Organi. And that's, I get my protein from that. And the nuts almonds, which are actually seeds, uh, cashews, which are actually seeds, and uh, peanuts. And that's, that's what's worked for me as far as protein. Um, then fruits and vegetables. You know, um, I try to do organic. I, you know, it's more expensive, but um, I personally haven't seen the efficacy of doing organic, you know, higher priced organic. Uh, produce over just regular stuff. I know it's got GMOs in it and all this other stuff. Yeah, I'll be dead soon. <laughs> I'm over 50. <laughs> so, <laughs> just trying to eat to live. But it makes me feel good. And then the chewing the sodas, I've kind of cut back on the coffee. I probably do like six cups of coffee a day. <laughs> That's too much. I'd like to get down to one, one cup of coffee. Um, and then, uh, lots of water, you know. And I drink what's good for me. Some people are like, oh, you gotta have six cups a day. You know, I try to do like maybe a liter a day, especially when it's hot like this, because you might not feel yourself to be underhydrated, but it can happen, especially on a hot run. Hi there, how are you? Right now it's, uh, it's 7.30 in the morning. And it's um, already 80 degrees. So I'm out here running in the woods. 
and then the caffeinated beverages, a lot of these sports drinks, energy drinks, have caffeine in it, or caffeine-like substances that act as diuretics. So I'll be underhydrated, losing electrolytes and so forth, and that's not good on hot, humid days. So try to figure out what works for you. You may have to experiment a lot, <laughs> maybe for years, but you know, seek the advice of nutritionists, sports nutritionists, things on the internet, and kind of read and sort out what works for you. Uh, so since it's uh, it's Men's Health Month, um, I see a lot of men. I told you guys this before. I see a lot of men with um, various preventable diseases, so high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, yeah, you know, obesity. Yeah, you know, and some you can kind of control that to a certain degree, depending on who you are and your genetic makeup, how you're built, and so forth, and your lifestyle. So, again, in summary, just try to put things that are good for your body into your body. I can tell you, um, as somebody, as a PA who works with an internist, with adults, um, I see a lot of middle age stuff, diseases that people don't necessarily have to have, or they can control better with um, a good diet and exercise. Okay guys, that's it for now. I wish you guys the best of success in your po positive endeavors. If you want to be a PA and you need shadowing hours and mentorship, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, take care. Peace. Thank you. Alright guys, take care.